anybody in here, I would name. Hold on. We are about to name some people. You know what I'm saying? Rico. Block, what the what? Angel. Boss Man. Sierra. Harrison. Dallas. Mookie. Alexis. Uh, Samuel. Black ass nigga. Anyway, what's up, bro? I told y'all we're going to do this podcast thing. I'm going to try to do it three times a week, but for sure, two times a week. You know what I'm saying? I got a podcast for real now, bro. This ain't no slacking. I'm not finna do the whole thing with the uh me having co-hosts because I don't like niggas. And they be they not dependable. Females, too. They be up here trying to, after the first part, I'm an attractive nigga. You know what I'm saying? So after the first podcast, they look. When the, when the mic turn off and the camera go, they be trying to hit this. And shit. You know what I'm saying? They be like, the, I don't like to mix business with the, you know what I mean? So, therefore, I just be like, look, bro. No, I'm not doing it. Nigga doing all that shit. Hold on, where my lighter at? Because this is dead. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this by myself. Here on one time. He said, go something square. What do sucker free mean? Sucker free, bro. The reason I named it that because we all need some of that in our life. You know what I'm saying? When I say sucker free, I ain't talking about, oh, yeah, bro, don't eat candy no more. He's sucker free. I'm talking about sucker free as to where you dodging all the suckers and the suckers, you know what, that go on up in this world, bro. Everybody in this world say they're a real one. How is everybody a real one when we got a grip of fake motherfuckers? You know what I'm saying? I'm a real one. I only do real one. I'm a real nigga. I'm a real nigga. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. It's not the case, bro. Y'all ain't never in y'all life heard me say, I'm a real nigga. You ain't never heard me say that, bro. You ain't never heard me say, I'm the GOAT. Never heard me say that. It's some titles that people can't give you. You can self, you can say you're the best in basketball, you know what I'm saying? That's your skill, bro. You can say you dope, you best rapper alive. Nigga, I'm the best YouTuber alive. I can say all that, but them titles, bro, I'm a legend. Nigga, you know what? I'm a real one. You can never take a self-proclaimed title from somebody like that, bro. As soon as you say I'm a real nigga, I don't trust you, bro. As soon as somebody say trust me, I don't trust them off back. Never trust a nigga saying, trust me. No, what you want me to trust you for, bro? This how it is. If you were solid from the gate, your word should be valid enough. Hey, bro, I'm going to go ahead and do this. What you will make sure I had it, you know what I'm saying, by here on Tuesday. As soon as he say, trust me, that mean you lied before. What you, what you got to put the trust me for on the end, though? You get what I'm saying? <coughs> I be watching what niggas be saying, bro. I'm like, what the fuck you mean, trust me? I, I do trust you, bro. Why you got to? Reiterate, reiterate it like however the fuck you say that shit. Why you gotta do all that with the you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out here, bro. Your homies, my homies, your sisters, my sister, your brother, my brother, your mama, my mama. Not saying like exactly yours, but on God, bro. In my family right now, in your family right now. There's some people that will fuck you over for money. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about, I, I, well, I ain't going to never have a million dollars go, so I don't know what you're talking about. Nah, I'm talking about $20, $30 types. They will do you in for $20 or $30, bro. Sucker shit. It won't even tell you. Disloyalty comes without people telling you. I told y'all before, bro. Right now, the most loyalist person you know right now, today, you be at the house, bro. Like, damn, I'm hungry as shit. <coughs> Five minutes later, your best friend. I'll be back, bro. I'm finna go to the store. Hey, bro, why you out? Hold up, hold up. Here, bro, why you out? Hey, give me uh, give me two cheeseburgers for, and, and, and a large fry from McDonald's. And it's up. Matter of fact, don't give me a soda. We already got juice at the house. Just give me two cheeseburgers and a large fry from McDonald's. This is where people was unloyal without even knowing it, bro. You're like, all right, bet. Take the money. Cool. Everything. Look, transactions. You got the money. Bring back the food. 
This is what I'm talking about. After he go get his blunts and he get that uh, McDonald's meal, bro. Your two burgers that are fried. He not trying to double cross you at all. You know what I'm saying? But what's going to happen is when he get them fries, he going to reach his hand in that bag and eat some of your fries, bro. <laughs> disloyal. Let me tell you why that's disloyal. Because he not finna get home and make sure or get back to you and make sure say, hey, bro, I ate two fries out of that bag. He ain't finna do that, bro. That's the homie. I'm just eating. He ain't going to notice it. Because we all know every time you go to the McDonald's, they don't give you 33 fries on a dot. You get 31, 28, 27. So you can't be like, bro, it's two missing. Like, nigga, this is how many they gave me. How you going to argue with you? You get what I'm saying? Disloyal. I don't care what no people disloyal without even you just gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to rock with the person that, that's the most disloyalist. Ain't that about a bitch? You gotta rock with the person that's the most disloyalist, right? If that even makes some goddamn sense. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people out here, bro. I used to be this way. Let me tell you what way I'm talking about. To where if somebody got something, I want to be around them. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with you. That shit stopped for me probably like around 20 years old. I ain't always have it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I always had high expectations, like real high expectations of my life, of my taste, of my style. But I just never had the bread or the means to get whatever I like. You know what I'm saying? I was smoking straight sweet all the time. But I wanted to smoke chronic, you know what I'm saying? With that being said, the homie, Mexican homie, he was probably like 40 at the time. I'm probably like 19. Hated going to this nigga house, you know what I'm saying? He probably stayed like three three apartments down from me. Hated going there, but guess what? He got the bomb weed, so I'm there every day for the smoke up, you know what I'm saying? Sucker shit on my behalf. I'm not 15 no more. I'm not 16. After you turn 18, bro, you freeloading off another grown man. I was a freeloader. I'm being real with y'all. Suck it, shit. I'm telling y'all because um, if you was, if you are me who I was back then, stop it. And if you are, is that dude that's good and uh, taking advantage of, People using you for your shit. Every time you see them, they want something. They don't never, they, they, when have the last time they, like, been beneficial to you? Is what I'm saying. You got to watch them, bro. If you is that person, stop that too. Because people won't get over you. You got to understand, some people don't care at all. Yeah, bro, I only got two left. Oh, only two? Well, can I get those two and you buy two more tomorrow? Like, damn, then you want to just ask for one? Like, all right, well, can I just have one and you keep one? You say, I got two. He won't, though. Niggas don't care, bro. That's why they be in the position they in. Let me tell you something. Why I like these podcasts I'm doing now. You know what I'm saying? Live streaming and all that type of shit. It's a lot of people out there that grew up just like me. You know what I'm saying? And when I say just like me, I mean just like me. With a mom, you got a dad, but bro ain't around. Either he in the streets, he said, fuck you. Either he in the streets, he got killed in the streets. He in prison. He got remarried. Moved some. The point I'm trying to make is, to all the kids that grew up without a daddy, bro, This is one of the reasons why I like these podcasts. I don't care what no psychiatric, no psych tell you, bro. I don't care what no studies tell you. You go into uh, foster, what, what, what test, whatever, bro. I'm telling you firsthand. Firsthand how it is like to grow up without a daddy. You know what I'm saying? This ain't, and, and, and the shit I do or what I am about to say, bro. 
what I am about to say, I hope, I can't, I'm not finna bite my tongue, bro. If you're not old enough to, to decipher what I'm saying, and you up here on the internet, bro, your mom got this, I don't, I don't know. This the only thing about, this the whole thing about the internet, like, you just don't know who watching. But at the same time, I want 10 and 11 year old black and Mexican kids to watch this shit. You get what I'm saying? And I don't want them to watch it because I don't want them to hear something that I did. And they look up to me now like, oh, Ghost did it when he was his age. Let me go ahead and do it. But at the same time, I want you little big head motherfuckers to listen to what I'm about to say, bro. Since day one, you know what I'm saying? I'm the oldest out of 10 kids. 10. My daddy got three. My mama got seven. Since day one. All right? And and if you are just now in, like <clears throat> coming to this podcast, joining the podcast and all that type of shit, um, basically, this ain't a story time, but I can't talk about being a deadbeat child without talking about my childhood. You know what I'm saying? I can't talk about not having a dad without speaking up on me. Like I said, I'm not reading for no book. This ain't no uh, 50-year-old white, like, telling me what I should. None of that, bro. <clears throat> this how it is. All right, like I said, I'm the oldest. My mom was a game banger. You know what I'm saying? She a track game banger, so my daddy's a game banger. Two different hoods, you know what I'm saying? Same mentality. <clears throat> I say about three years old, about two or three years old, my mom and my pop split up, all right? I don't know what the fuck was going on. I'm just telling you, I'm giving you all the timeline. <clears throat> Damn, where my juice at? I'm giving y'all the timeline though From We're gonna say three years old From three years old To about nine or ten years old I'm not going to my pop's house He been in the streets He got little females on the side He living with my grandma at the time You know what I'm saying So he'll pull up Say what's up. I'll probably slide with him every now and then. You know what I'm saying? By nine years old, my mom already had two more kids by two other niggas. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so now them two dudes is in my life. That are not in my life that I actually stayed with my mama. That was their baby mama. That was fucking on my mama. She she stopped messing with him. Got another baby mama. They living at the house. She fucking on him. That I'm 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 every year. You know what I'm saying? I'm being real with y'all. I'm not sitting here, bro. <clears throat> I don't give a fuck what my mama gotta say. I don't give a fuck what y'all gotta say, bro. Or whatever. I'm just being real with you. I'm just trying to give you the timeline. Nine years old. My pops go to jail for double murder, life in prison, right? At this time, I'm still not knowing what's going on, but I'm knowing jail is for like, you know what I'm saying? You do something bad, you go to jail straight up. That's that's all I'm knowing. My mama trying to explain it. You know, my grandma trying to explain it. And this 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 all I'm knowing that's going on, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so him being who he was, he wasn't, I wasn't going up to the prison to see my pops. It would just be on the phone type shit every now and then. I talk to him. He just can't get out till about 10 or 11 years old. They're like, bro, your daddy's, I'm, I'm noticing, like, he in jail for murder. That's when I find out. So now this time, my mama, like, my daddy ain't in the picture. She doing her own thing. My mama got seven kids, seven baby daddies. You know what I'm saying? Being real with y'all. Not counting the boyfriends. 
Them niggas didn't give a fuck about me. I seen her square boyfriends. I seen the dope dealers. I seen the dudes that worked. I seen the dudes that stayed home. And what really changed my life is my baby sister, Asia. Her daddy, this nigga named Ralph. Um, this when I was standing in Hoover's at the time, too. If y'all know where Young's Market, I was standing in that first house right behind Young's Market. You know what I'm saying? And, um... So, this is the first dude I'm actually kind of cool with. Like, he bought me a Nintendo. You know what I'm saying? This is... This is the 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 six I'm talking about from my sister Taisha to Gabby to James to Chantil. Um, I didn't like none of their daddies. All they, you know what I'm saying? I used to, they used to beat me up, bro. I used to be scared to go. I used to be scared of their daddies. You know what I'm saying? So my baby sister, Asia, that was the first, um, her daddy was the first one I actually got along with. What really opened my eyes is we had a back house. You know what I'm saying? He bought me a video game, put it in the back house. Yeah. But in that back house, we had a back gate. And that shit used to be booming. I'm not understanding what dope is, what crack is. I'm not understanding what none of this is, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, um... What changed my life is probably, like, Five o'clock in the morning. Just one random day, five o'clock in the morning. Helicopter up in the air, bro. All um Ralph homies running out the back house. The police pull up to the front. I'm not knowing at the time, but a raid is happening at my house. You know what I'm saying? So I had a dog named Precious, a rock roller. She just had puppies too. As soon as they come up in the yard, the dog rushed them. They killed my dog, bro. That's what changed my... I'm, this is how I remember it. This is what changed my life. You know what I'm saying? If y'all remember... If y'all ever seen my story time, I was talking about where I put a crate on the gate. We was playing basketball. It was at that house. They killed my dog. That nigga went to jail. And my mama busted down. Like, my mama been in... She been in hood since day one. She always kept him with honey. She ain't no sugar coating. Like, she keep real. She was like... You know, Ralph finally went to jail for selling that shit. Woo -woo -woo. She was mad they raided her house and whatever the case, right? And that's when I put two and two together. You know what I'm saying? About when my when my game was up in the back house, that Nintendo he bought me, everybody was always coming with some money in their hand, giving it to him, leaving. Somebody else. And that's when, like, it just all hit me. I'm adding up money. Like, this nigga was selling dope, and he was getting real money, bro. As a kid... With no pops, I don't care if the older person, if it's an older guy that looked mature enough to be your dad, and he bought you some shoes, you're going to cling on to him. You know what I'm saying? He bought you a Nintendo, you're going to be attached to him. He bought you a whatever, bro, you're going to be attached to him. And that's what happened with Ralph. First time, you know what I'm saying? He went to prison. And after that, that's what I was seeking my whole life, bro. I knew I was lacking how to get money. I was a kid, 13, but I wanted to be a man. I knew I was lacking the maturity of a man, bro. How to address certain situations. How to take care of the household. How to fight for real, for real. And I ain't talking about no, oh, we, we, we out here fighting my cousins and we not hitting in the face because we cousins type shit. I'm talking about real life fighting. How to gang bang properly. What to do when I finally do go to jail because I'm knowing I'm a goat. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I start seeking from like 11 till, till, till I was an adult, bro. I'm finna see who the dude on the block that got the most respect and this gang banging shit. Get close to him, watch his every move, and move like him. You know what I'm saying? Then I want to see the dude that treat his kids like 100 and, 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 and his kids love him, buying them everything, because I know I'm going to have kids one day, bro. 
ain't nobody teaching me nothing. My mama used to always tell me she can't teach me how to man. She never used to, oh, yeah, you need to go out there and find somebody to teach you how to be a man. She just used to tell me straight up, I can't teach you how to be a man. Your hit, my hits don't hurt you no more, which was true. My mama didn't whip me with no belt. She'd get like sticks, hangers, or like sock me up and shit. They wasn't facing me no more. So when I'm out, bro, I'm trying to look for the most respected nigga that I need in that field. It's like it's like NBA 2K, your attributes. Like, I need to get my steals up. I need to get my shot up. I need to get my dribbles, my motherfucking rebounds up. And I'm looking on who can give me that, that who can teach me that, bro. Because I'm knowing for a fact not every... Hold on, hold on. But yeah, um... I wanted to know who can teach me that, bro, because I'm knowing for a fact. I was smart enough to know not. I was smart enough to know one man didn't have everything I needed in life. You know what I'm saying? I knew my pops could have taught me some shit, but even I, I, I didn't have him. And I know ain't nobody out here going to really take me under their wing. I ain't never had nobody take me under their wing and say this. This is this. I'm looking after him. You know what I'm saying? Whether it was streets, households, none of that shit, bro. It ain't it ain't it ain't never happened. And I was I was I went to school because I was made to go to school. You know what I mean? I knew school wasn't gonna do nothing for me, bro. My homies was hitting bank licks at fifteen years old. And when I say that, it's same homies. We talked about this a, a while back. Same homies. I swear to God, not one of us had a dad in the house, bro. That shit mess with you, and it's for real. Till this day, my pops is still in jail. He ain't never getting out. My mom used to always tell me, my mom, my grandma, my auntie's like, bro, he getting out, he getting out, he getting out. And as a kid, you're going to believe it. You know what I'm saying? Till like five years ago, he told me straight up, like, bro, I'm never getting out of here. He told me that straight up to my face. I'm going to die in here. You know what I'm saying? They gave you hope. I don't know why they was lying to you. Like, And and, and to keep it real, I need it straight like that because I, I already knew it, bro. It's no way you in the 90s get a double murder. And in the 90s as a black man, they just give you life for double murder. Nigga, you lucky you didn't get the chair. You know what I'm saying? I knew he wasn't getting out. Today, maybe, whatever, he could probably get like 40 years on some shit, but this, he's, like they said, life without parole, without parole. Kids that grow up without a father, bro, you ain't the only one. I swear to God, and I know you ain't the only one. You can't. It's going to be a point your mama can't do nothing for you. Y'all not finna talk about sex. She can't teach you how to fight. She not finna teach you how to dress. Only thing she can teach you and tell you, nigga, is about that neighborhood you live in. Because best believe, it's a lot of y'all don't believe that your mama know, but your mama know, bro. You heard what I said. Everything I said, that was about the physical attributes. Teach you how to dress. Teach you how to fight and all that type of shit. But when it comes to the mental, bro, that mentality, listen to your mama. She ain't going to tell you nothing wrong, nigga. She been seeing people get killed since the 80s, bro. She done been with niggas that got killed or been with niggas that know who other people are or been with fools that done got murdered. She know what's up. Your mama know what's up around the neighborhood she live in. She ain't been to move nowhere that's out of bounds. You listen to your mama. But as far as the being the man, the physical part, she can't teach you nothing, bro. I don't give a fuck. What I, she can't teach you nothing. She don't know what it feels. She can tell you about sex. But that's she tell you when she getting her pussy in. She can't tell you how, how a dick feel to go inside so just she can't tell you, bro. She can't tell you how to act when your girl tripping. She can't tell you how to act when your homies tripping. And then that's your mom and some shit cracking off at school. You don't wanna some some niggas pressed you. You got robbed, you got jacked, you ain't finna go home and tell your mama. That's something you tell your daddy. Niggas, they, you don't tell your mama that type shit. 
you don't want to put her in it and you don't want your mama to make it. You don't want to look like a buster to your mama, bro. I'm being real with you. Your mama don't know. Everything that happened to you, somebody else got to tell her. You don't go tell your mama that type shit. That, 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 the mental, listen to her. The physical, bro. It's sad to say, but you got to be outside. Are you going, and, 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 and let me tell you what happened. If you stay on that mental and you stay in the house, I can call my home girl right now. I can call my home girl right now, bro. On my kids. God can take my kids right now on my cousin. Rest in peace. She been a lesbian her whole life. Her son gay and her daughter gay. And neither, neither one of them older than 15 years old. She ain't never had a boyfriend. I mean, before, I mean, her kids, you know what I'm saying? She was with one dude. Her kids two years apart. 113, 115. They both gay. Why? Because she had three girlfriends when they was growing up. If you are 13 and 11, you watching this shit 10 years old, 14 years old, listen to your mama, but get outside and learn life. It's a lot of shit your mama can't teach. You're going to have to learn by yourself. If you got to crash to do it, you're going to crash to do it. If you get beat up, you need to get beat up in your life a few times. That's the part of becoming a man. Make some mistakes, nigga. Don't think you finna get through life with 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 squeaky clean. You don't, you don't, you don't become a get outside, do what you want to do, and learn your lesson. Cause you might learn something that'll get that'll 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 get your ass ten million dollars. What you get eighteen, and then you might get outside and do something, and your ass end up in jail. But nigga, get outside. You learn. You you live life, bro. You's a man. When you born, you's a fucking man. You just a, you just zero years old at the time, nigga. If 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 God forbid nothing happened to you, you're gonna grow up and die a man. You only born like that. I'm telling you, bro. Listen to me. Fuck your friends. Cause your friends probably listening to people that's in the house with their mama all the time. Have your man stand up. I tell y'all this all the time. Have your own thoughts, bro. I tell y'all this with the reactions, nigga. Can't nobody make me say, oh, this is tight, this is dope. I don't care if a million people think it's tight. If I think it's garbage, it's garbage. That's my motherfucking opinion. And I'm proud of my opinion. I can get off the video proud of my opinion. I be proud when I watch the comments. You just hating. You just hating. I'm not hating, bro. I just really don't like it. That's it. The last song I liked, I just really don't like this one. That's it, bro. You got to have your own mind, nigga. If you think blue look better with white... And they think red look better. Wear your blue, nigga. The fuck is your problem, nigga? I don't. This and this me talking to the kids right now. You gonna learn life once you once you get outside. And when I said when I was talking about school, school. Let me tell y'all, I've been to jail and I've been to school, <laughs> like a lot of niggas. School, and I've been to one of the most ruthless schools to date, you know what I'm saying? And school, for me, to this day, they teach me how to do nothing but count, bro. I don't, school didn't teach me how to do nothing but count, you know what I'm saying? And it was kind of like training day for all the different game bangers that was at the school. Because now that I think about it, bro, and, and, and I was telling you about being a man and and, 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 and and trying to find a man to to footsteps to follow for you to be a man of your kids if you have some someday. If you black or you masculine and you go to school, bro, we got real life leaders out here that change shit, that invented shit. You go to school, they're not going to teach you how to be a Malcolm X. They're not going to teach you how to be a, 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 a Martin Luther. They're not going to teach you that, bro. Niggas up here teaching us about Paul Revere and shit. The fuck, you know what I'm saying? Christopher Columbus. That shit ain't worked till today, bro. Math is the only thing that got me in school, period, nigga. Imagine if they taught me how to be a Malcolm X since I was in middle school all the way to high school and I graduated. You know what type of man I'd be today? But they taught me Christopher Columbus, so guess what type of man I am today? 
Carl Revere. So guess what time? What? That's what I mean, nigga. You get outside of you be. I tell my kids all the time, bro. I'm not finna. Look, swear to God. Me being as old as I am now. If it wasn't illegal to have your kids out of school and really homeschool them how you want to. And I ain't talking about when people say, oh, my kids don't homeschool. Your kids ain't homeschool, nigga. They just doing the work at home because you still got to get the same fucking work from the school district and take it home. They ain't homeschool. Homeschool for real is you teach them your methods. That's homeschool. And then you put them out the world, out in the world with your methods, bro. You ain't doing nothing but taking your kids home. Getting the work from the school district and still putting them out in the world with they methods. If homeschool was for real, for real, is what I mean. My kids wouldn't be at these public schools, bro. They wouldn't. No, Malcolm, like I told you, bro. And, and, pro, <sighs> Look, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to sound too political. I know this ain't using me on this boring shit. But but sometimes I know it's a lot of kids that watch me, you know what I'm saying? And I want y'all to know like it's cool to be you. I swear to God. I know y'all see me on here smoking. Nigga smoke weed every video. This nigga this just what I like to do. This who I am, bro. This nigga's a YouTuber. This this how I made my life. This what I want to do. I don't do this shit so you can do it. But since I do got a voice and y'all big head motherfuckers watching my videos, let me go ahead and tell y'all something instead of clowning on the music video all the time. Or 60 days in, reacting some jail shit and laughing. And laughing is cool, bro. That clean is so. I love y'all on this YouTube shit. I do. I'm going to make some in the morning. I'm going to make like two in the morning. But I also know I have a young audience. And every video ain't got to be like that. If I'm going to be live and I ain't got to react to the point right oh well, we just going to be live then. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be live then. And I, I everybody in the comments, I keep telling y'all, y'all got to stop showing. Uh, Denasia got it. Y'all got to stop uh, showing, showing love to the hatred up in the comments. Hopefully he hear what I'm saying instead of writing... BS in the, you know what I'm saying? Or he probably just feel like he more privileged because his mom and his dad in, his, in the house and he don't want to hear what we talking about. Whatever it is, stop giving him so much love. You know what I'm saying? We, we, we doing this shit. Hey, and, uh, my bad to, what's his name? RJ Wavy, good looking on that 10. Or that 20, I seen you, bro. I was just over here bumping. I swear to God, sometimes I get like, you know what I mean? And they get to talking, I don't be... You know what I'm saying? But uh Yeah, I just want everybody to 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 let me let me tell you something about life. All right. Let me just this go hand in hand with the school shit. All right. You will get way, way 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 farther in life if you have respect bro and i didn't know this until i was 26 years old i'm being real with y'all this is what i'm saying i i don't fault y'all for talking mess in the comments bro if y'all out there robbing and all i'm not i don't look down on you at all i hope you'll stop i don't look down on you bro. i didn't get my life straight till i was like 26 27 i'm being real with you <coughs> but respect bro you don't know how hard karma is for real. Everybody think, oh, you're going to have karma. Everybody think karma is just bad, bro. You're going to have bad karma. You did that. You're going to do it. Good karma is for real, bro. Opening that door, acknowledging somebody that's there, and not and not just the CEO because he's the CEO. Like, nah, what's up, sir, to the CEO? Ten steps later, you see the janitor. What's up, sir, still? Karma is for real, bro. You treat people how you want to be treated. Because put yourself in a janitor's shoes. Put yourself in 
in a in a in a in a custodian shoes, bro. Put yourself in a homeless person's shoes. I'm talking about you. Put yourself in that in that position. Yourself. You would want people to treat you cool still, right, bro? You still the same person no matter. I'm still the same person when I was broke as shit. And I'm still broke as I'm still the same person. You know what I'm saying? You will get so much good karma, bro. Like, damn, I put in this app six months ago. I woke up, they finally hit me up. Yeah, that's karma. Damn, they gave me a raise. Oh, yeah, yeah, Ricky, we didn't forget about you, man. You know the coronavirus, but they go, your raise. Now, let that be the opposite. You want to clown a fool on the corner because he's not dressed as nice as you. You want to clown somebody because they their car is not as nice as yours. You're gonna be asleep, wake up in the morning like 911, somebody stole my car. No, you didn't, bro. We impounded it. Why? You was loud on your payments. Man, I got ten thousand dollars in my banking. Oh shit, I forgot to get him my new card number. Karma. Somebody try to rob you for no reason. Karma. If you get up in the morning, I promise you, nigga. And, and, and it's a lot of people that have. Let me tell you how I used to be. And I I, I, I like to put myself in this shit because I don't want y'all to think that I'm. Hold on real quick. Go ahead, bro. Um. Like I was saying with karma, bro, the reason why I like to put myself in these situations because I don't want people to feel guilty about their guilty pleasures, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Because we know we be assholes and we still be that. We know what we doing is asshole-ish and we still do it, bro. Swear to God, I used to do it. With that being said, I smoke weed a lot, heavy. I used to get attitudes when I didn't have no weed. I'm blessed now, you know. I I I ain't gotta buy Ace. I, I you know I get pounds at a time. I'm just being real with you. I used to get attitudes when I didn't have no weed. Me getting the attitude, bro. This is how my mind used to think. And this is what I know used to happen. And all real we has know what I'm talking about. Have me a little add to I got some weed. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't talk to me, bro. Whatever the case, right? I'm not really saying it. I'm not in the house flipping out or whatever. I'm just irritated, bro. You know how it is. Not really trying to let nobody pay attention, but every they notice. Your girl notice. You ain't talking to her, she ain't talking to you, she know you ain't got no weed, she ain't trying to say nothing to get you mad, yada, yada, yada. Five, six hours go by, you happen to get you some weed. Oh, y'all thought I was going to be over here and try to play shit down because it's me? Never. Anyway, five hours later, you go ahead and get some weed. Smoke you a blunt, your girl up in there cooking, you got you some weed, you didn't... Hit it a few times, now you walking up in there, walked up behind her, kissing on her neck, playing with her and all that type of shit. Like, damn, bro, this weed really put me back in a good mood that I'm doing. This shit really, it's a mood swinger, bro. (coughs) (coughs) After I told myself, after I told myself, bro. That's something I got to, I don't believe in going to talk to nobody, bro. This how it is. This how it is. I've been from the hood my whole motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? And I got real, and, and, and you know when you come home from the army, you see somebody get killed in front of you. Then three days later, you've been in a shootout. Four days later, you've been in another shootout. Two days later, they come in, radio shit, whatever the case. You go home, you get PTSD. Do y'all know what no over-exaggeration mean? 
Do y'all know what literally mean? Let me tell you, because I can name these niggas right now, bro. I got over 30 homies that's been murdered. Not niggas I done walked past. Not nobody I done seen and said what's up to. I'm talking about people I done smoke with, share clothes with, ate with, live next door to. All that type of shit, right? Now let's get on to my family that got murdered. My first son was supposed to be named after me. Four months before he was born, my first cousin that I was with every day got murdered, so my son got his name. I don't have a junior, bro. I didn't have a junior when my first son was born. <clears throat> Ain't no PTSD. They laugh at me if I go up in that building saying I got PTSD. Let me look at this nigga background where he come from. This nigga don't got PTSD, he a black boy in the hood. If we give him PTSD and we diagnose him, we're going to have a whole epidemic on our hand for the simple fact every hood going to be able to get this check or whatever the case. I said they got PTSD because that's for real. The reason why I brought up that PTSD shit goes hand in hand with the weed I was saying. When I found out that we had my mood swinging like a motherfucker like that, bro. I knew then that I wasn't going to no shrink. I wasn't finna talk to nobody about this shit, bro. Let me diagnose myself, ghost. You addicted to weed, my nigga. That's what it seemed like. We ain't got no addiction. We ain't got no addiction. I'm 20, 20, 22 years old. This shit got me small. Nigga, I used to be at work. Soon as lunch break hit, going to smoke. Before I eat, going to smoke. Before I fuck, I'm smoking. After, I'm smoking. In the car, smoking. I ain't got to play it down because it's, it's me, bro. I can look at somebody else and tell if it's a habit. If it's a habit. Habits and addiction is cousins to me, nigga. Put it like that. Let's say it's a bad habit because I'm not losing no weight. I can't eat without. I'm not saying I can't eat. I'm not saying I can't sleep. I'm saying everything is better when I got this shit. That's what I'm saying. That's why you got the you you got people out here saying, bro, if you can't support your habit, you you shouldn't do it. That's the dumbest saying in the fucking world to me. If you can't support your habit, you shouldn't do it. Nigga, don't you know if I would have had it, I would have. I used to hate when people used to say that. My mama was the main. Mama, let me get 20 so you can get some weed, huh? Like, why you got to say it? Like, you know I need some weed. Like, what? Like, bro. I'm not finna play it down just because it's me. It's a lot I had to diagnose with myself, bro. Trust issues. Nigga, I've been a, a... What? Look at me. Nigga, go look at my story time. This is what I'm saying. With life. Let me go seek this shit out, though. I'm happy I'm here now, though. I, look, after all this shit, I'm a YouTuber now. You know what I'm saying? But it was, it was, bro. All I'm saying is the basic, the basic thing about this whole live or this podcast, because this is going on my podcast too. Um, is y'all just be, be, be yourself. Have your own mind, your own mentality. Be respectful. And, 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 and for real, I'm not just saying this, bro. And just just love each other until somebody do some, until you got to sock their ass. But don't just be hating people off the, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and respect your mama because daddy be tripping sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to holler at y'all later, man, until next time.
100.